Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Balisuela Live Mathematics 5. I'm Mr. Francisco P. Pronto III, your FB Live teacher for today. But before we proceed, I want you to do the following so your teacher will recognize your attendance and participation. First, you may type in your complete name, your subject teacher, and your school in the comment box so your teacher would recognize your attendance. Second, if you like to answer during our discussion, simply type in your answer in the comment box. And finally, grade 5 pupils, if you have some question about the lessons discussed, you may also type in your question before the session ends so your teacher would recognize your participation. So we are now in quarter one, week nine of our most essential learning competencies. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to divide simple fraction and whole numbers by a fraction and vice versa. Second, solve routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operation of fractions and whole numbers using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. But before we proceed to our topic for this day, let's have our first activity in this morning. This would be entitled, Refresh Your Brain. The direction is, you're going to find the product mentally as fast as you can. You have 10 seconds to do this, and if you are done, you just type in your answer on the comment box below. For number one, four pip multiplied by one pip. You have 10 seconds. Your timer starts now. Time's up. If your answer is 425, you got it right, grade 5 pupils. Let's proceed. Number two. 1, 7 multiplied by 3. 1, 7 multiplied by 3. Your timer starts now. Time's up. If your answer is 3, 7, you got it right. Grade 5 pupils. Very good. Number 3. 2 third multiplied by 4 fifth is equal to your timer starts now. Comment down your answer, grade 5 pupils. Time's up. If your answer is 8 15, grade 5 learners, you got it right. And then for number 4, 4 fifth multiplied by 3 fifth. What would be the result when we multiply 4 fifth by 3 fifth? You have 10 seconds. Your timer starts now. Very good, grade 5 learners. The correct answer is 12 over 25. For number 5, what will be the product if you multiply 6, 7 by 4, 11? You have 10 seconds. Your timer starts now. Good job, grade 5 learners. The correct answer is 24 over 77. So congratulations, grade 5 learners. You did a great job in this activity. Now, before we begin our discussion for this morning, here are some important terminologies that will help you to understand the concept about dividing fraction. Let's review what we know about division. Do you know? that division is the inverse or the opposite of multiplication. Let's examine this example. 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 
15. When 15 divided by 3, the quotient will be 5. When 15 divided by 5, the quotient will be 3. Therefore, grade 5 learners, we can say that uh, division is the inverse operation of multiplication. Now, let's identify the three basic parts when dividing a numbers. So, we have, when we say the number to the left of the division symbol, that is our dividend. Then, the number to the right of the division symbol is called the divisor. And after the equal sign or the result when divide uh, dividend and the divisor is called the quotient. Another term is the reciprocal. It is the inverse of fraction or whole number. Example, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. The reciprocal of 3 fourth is four third. Or you just interchanging the value of the numerator and the denominator. So our numerator in 3 port is 3 and the denominator is 4. When you interchanging the value of the numerator 3 and the denominator 4, the result would be 4 third. Therefore, grade 5 learners, the reciprocal of 3 port is 4 third. Now, let's proceed in dividing simple fraction or dividing a fraction to another fraction. In dividing a fraction to another fraction, we must follow the step. Step number one. So, we have an example, one-fifth divided by four-third. Step number one, you just copy the dividend. Our dividend in our example is one-fifth. So, one-fifth. Then, step number two. Change the division sign to multiplication sign. So, division sign to multiplication sign. Then, step number three. Get the reciprocal of the divisor. Our divisor in our problem is four-third. Then, we're going to get the reciprocal of four-third. The reciprocal of four-third is very good, grade five learners. Three-fourth. Then, step number four, multi multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominator. Our numerator is one and three. So, let's multiply one, multiply by three. The product will be three. Then, our denominator is five and four. Five times four, the answer would be 20. Therefore, let's proceed to step number 5. Express your answer in those terms, if necessary. Since our numerator and the denominator has no common factor, therefore, our final answer is 3 over 20. Let's have another example. This time, we're going to divide fraction by a whole number. As you can see in our example number 2, we have fractional form of 4 pip and then we have a whole number of 4. So 4 pip divided by 4. So let's proceed. Let's proceed to step number 1. You just copy the dividend. So our dividend is 4 pip. You just copy 4 pip. Then step number 2. You just change the division sign to multiplication sign. So, change the division sign to multiplication sign. And then, you just get the reciprocal of the divisor. Our divisor in our problem is 4. Since 4 is a whole number, we're going to change the whole number 4 into its fractional form. The fractional form of 4 is, very good, grade 5 learners, is 4 over 1. So, the reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 fourth. Then, let's proceed to step number 4. 
Step number four, you're going to multiply the numerator, then multiply the denominator. So our numerator is 4 and 1. So 4 times 1, the answer will be 4. And then 5 times 4, our denominator, the answer will be 20. So let's proceed to step 5. Express your answer in lowest term if necessary. So let's observe the value of the numerator and the denominator. The value of the numerator is 4. And the value of the denominator is 20. As we observe, is there is a common factor? Yes, it is. So, 4 and 20 are divisible by 4. So, we can say that we can divide 4 divided by 4 and 20 divided by 4. So, 4 divided by 4, the answer is 1. 20 divided by 4, the answer is 5. So, therefore, our final answer is one-fifth. Next, let's divide the whole number by a fraction. So, a whole number, we have 7. Then, we have a fraction of 5, 6. So, let's proceed to step number 1. We just copy the dividend. Our dividend is 7. So, you just change the whole number 7 into its fractional form. The fractional form of 7 is 7 over 1. Then, let's proceed to step number 2. Change the division sign to multiplication sign. Division sign to multiplication sign. And then, step number 3. You just get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, our divisor is 5, 6. Then, we're going to uh, get the reciprocal of 5, 6. The reciprocal of 5, 6 is... Very good, grade 5 learners. It is 6 over 5. Then, let's proceed to step number 4. You just multiply the numerators... Then multiply the denominators. So, let's multiply. 7 times 6, the answer is 42. Then 1 times 5, the answer is 5. So, 42 over 5. Then, let's proceed to step number 5. Express your answer in lowest term, if necessary. So, as we observe, again, grade 5 learners, the value of the numerator and the value of the denominator. So, we can express uh, 42 over 5 as a mixed fraction, right? Grade 5 learners. So, we can divide 42 by 5. So, 4 divided by 5 cannot be. So, we can proceed to 42. 42 divided by 5 is 8. And then, 8 times 5, the answer is 40. Then, 42 minus 40, the answer will be 2. Therefore, the uh, mixed fraction of 42 over 5 is 8 and 2 fifth. Okay? So, that would be on how to divide the whole number by a fraction. Now, uh, let's proceed to... Uh, another way to solve this uh, given set of fraction by using the acronym KCFCMS. Now, let's watch this video to understand the process of KCFCMS means. Let's watch this video. Okay, so let's proceed. So, to divide simple fraction to another fraction, let's use the acronym KCFCMS rule. So, we're going to keep, change, flip, cancel, multiply, and simplify. So, we're going to use this acronym to solve this uh, set of problems. So, let's divide uh, 3 fifth divided by... 9 tenths. So, let's follow the rule. So, we're going to keep first. Let's keep 3 pip. Change 
the division symbol to multiplication, then flip the divisor or the dividend or the divisor 9 tenths to 10 nines. And then use cancellation if possible, cancellation method. So let's uh, take a look if there is a common factor between 5 and 10 or 3 and 9. Okay, so let's uh, observe. So as we observe, there is a common factor between 3 and 9. The common factor of 3 and 9 is 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. Uh, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then, as we observe, 5 and 10 also has a common factor. A common factor of 5 and 10 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Then, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then, we have now 1 over 1. Then, 2 over 3. Then, let's proceed to multiplication. So, multiply. So, let's multiply 1 multiplied by 2. The answer would be 2. Then, 1 multiplied by 3. The answer would be 3. Then, simplify your answer. So, as we observe the numerator and the denominator of this fraction, there is no common factor between 2 and 3. So, therefore, our final answer is 2 third. Okay. Now, let's proceed to another example. Again, let's use the acronym C, uh, KCF CMS rule. So, we're going to keep, change, flip, cancel, multiply, and simplify. Okay. So, let's uh, rewrite first the given set of problem. 10 divided by 5 over 2. So, let's keep the dividend. So, let's keep. 10. As we observe, 10 is a whole number. So, we're going to uh, make this one first as a fraction. So, we're going to rewrite this whole number to 10 over 1. And then change the division symbol to multiplication. Then, flip, flip the divisor. So, our divisor is 5 over 2 or 5 halves. So, we can write this one or flip this one to 2 over 5 or 2 fifth. Now, use cancellation if possible. As we observe, there is a common factor between 1 and 2. None. And 10 and 5. So, as we observe, 10 and 5 has a common factor. 10 and 5, the common factor of 10 and 5 is... 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then, next acronym, multiply. So, let's multiply 2 times 2. The answer is 4. And then, 1 times 1. The answer is 1. And then, let's proceed to the next acronym. We have uh, simplify. So, we're going to simplify 4 over 1. So, 4 divided by 1 is equivalent to 4. Therefore, our final answer is 4. Okay. Do you understand what would be the process of KCF-CMS acronym? If no, let's try another problem to using KCF CMS acronym. So K means keep, C means change, F means flip, uh, C means cancel, M means multiply, and S is simply simplify. So let's try this example. 415 divided by 2 tenths. So, let's proceed to letter K. K means keep. So, we're going to keep for 15. Or, we'll just copy the dividend. Our dividend is 415. And then, copy or keep 415. Then, 
Let's proceed to letter C or step number 2. You just, just change the division sign to multiplication sign. So the division sign to multiplication sign. Then, let's proceed to letter F. F means flip. Or step number 3, you're going to flip or get the reciprocal of the divisor. Our divisor in our problem is 2 tenths. So, we're going to flip or get the reciprocal of 2 tenths. It is 10 over 2. Now, let's proceed to step number 4. Or letter C, you're going to use cancellation method if possible. Let's observe this set of fraction. Let's observe 10 and 15. As we observe, is there a common factor between 10 and 15, grade 5 learners? Yes, it is. The common factor of 10 and 15 is 5. So we can divide 10 divided by 5. The answer is 2. Then we can divide 15 by 5. The answer is 3. Then, let's observe 4 and 2. There is a common factor between 4 and 2, grade 5 learners? Yes, it is. The common factor of 4 and 2 is 2. So, we can divide 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. Then, 2 divided by 2. The answer is 1. Then, let's proceed to step number 5. This would be letter M. Multiply the numerator, then multiply the denominator. So, let's multiply the numerator. 2 times 2, the answer will be 4. Then, multiply the denominator. 3 times 1, the answer would be 3. Okay. Now, let's proceed to step number 6. You just simply simplify or express your answer in lowest term if possible. So, as we observe, uh, four-third is expressed in improper fraction. So, we can rewrite this one is in mixed number form or mixed fraction. The mixed fraction of four-third is one and one-third. So, therefore, our final answer is one and one-third. Okay. Now, let's have another example. This time, we're going to divide a whole number by a fraction. So, the whole number 30 divided by a fractional form of 5 over 2. So, let's proceed in letter K. So, this would be step number 1. You're going to keep or copy the dividend. So, our dividend is 30. So, we're going to keep 30 or make this one as a fractional form. Okay, next, step number two. You're going to, yes, grade five learners, you're going to change the division sign to multiplication sign. So change division to multiplication. Okay, now let's proceed to letter F or flip. This would be step number Three, flip or get the reciprocal of the divisor. So our divisor is 5 over 2. So the reciprocal or flip uh, fractional form of 5 over 2 is 2 fifth. So let's proceed to step number 4. Use cancellation method if possible. So we're going to use cancellation. So let's observe the sets of fraction. Is there a common factor between 1 and 1? I 1 and 2, rather. None. How about uh, 30 and 5? Very good, grade 5 learners. The common factor of 30 and 5 is 5. So we can divide 30 by 5. The result will be 6. And then 5 divided by 5, the answer will be 1. Then, step number... 5, you're going to simply uh, multiply the numerator, then multiply the denominator. So, let's multiply 6 times 2, the answer will be 12. Then, 1 times 1, the answer is 1. Then, proceed to step number 6. 
This would be letter S or simplify or express your answer in lowest term if necessary. So, 12 over 1, we can express this one as E, whole number 12. Okay, very good grade 5 learners. I hope you already know how to divide fraction. Now, let's uh, proceed to our problem number 1. This would be fishing day. Let's read the problem. One Saturday morning, Pedro, Simeon, Mateo, and Juan went on fishing in Tagalog Fishing Village. When they returned at night, they wanted to wait all of the fish they had caught. They caught a total of 11, uh, 31 half kilogram of fish. If they divide this equally among themselves, how much did each of them take home? So using this problem, let's uh, use the four steps of Paul. Yes. So let's understand this problem. By understanding this problem, what is us in the problem? Grade 5 learners. Okay, very good grade 5 learners. This would be the total kilogram of fish each of them take home. Then, what would be the given facts in this problem? Very good grade 5 learners. The given are Pedro, Semyon, Mateo, and one and 31 and half kilogram of fish. Then let's proceed to plan. Let's plan this problem. So what would be the operation to be used? Very good. The operation would be division. And then the number sentence will be N is equal to 31 and half divided by 4. So, where n is the total number of uh, fish they had caught. Then, let's solve. n is equal to 31 and a half divided by 4. So, 31 and a half. So, let's skip this one. So, 31 and a half divided by 4 over 1. Since 4 is a whole number, so we're going to change 4 as its fractional form. Then, Let's use the process, keep, change, and flip. So, you're going to keep the dividend. So, keep 31 and a half. Change our operation division to multiplication. And then, flip our divisor. Since our divisor is 4 over 1, so we can flip 4 over 1 to 1 fourth. Very good, grade 5 learners. Then, let's proceed to... Multiply. Multiply the numerator and the denominator. Multiply 31 times 1, the answer is 31. And 2 times 4, the answer is 8. Then, simplify your answer. So, the mixed fraction form of 31 and over 8 is equal to 3 and 7, 8 kilogram. So, look back. So, our answer is, therefore, the total kilograms of fish, each of them take home, is 3 and 7, 8 kilograms. Then, let's check our answer, grade 5 learners. So, 3 and 7, 8. Let's change this one to 8 improper fraction form. The improper fraction of 3 and 7, 8 is 31, 8. Then, let's multiply this one to our divisor. So, let's change first. Uh, 4 to its uh, fractional form. Then multiply 31 times 4. The answer is 124. Then 8 times 1. The answer is 8. Then let's uh, reduce this one to lowest term. The answer will be 31 half. Therefore, our answer is 4. Let's proceed to problem number 2. In one school year, one-fifth of grade 5 pupils had perfect attendance record. 28 pupils did not have perfect attendance record. How many children were in the class? So let's understand this problem. What is us in the problem, grade 5 learners? 
Very good. The answer will be the total number of children were in the class. Then, what do you think are the given? Very good. The given are 1 pip of grade 5 pupils, 28 pupils. Then, let's plan this problem. What will be or what operations to be used? The operation to be used is subtraction and division. Then, what is the correct number sentence, grade 5 learners? The correct number sentence N is equal to 28 divided by the quantity of 1 minus 1 pip, where N is the total number of children were in the class. Then let's solve. So, solving this one, we're going to use the working backward method. So, this would be our given. One pip of the grade 5 pupils had perfect attendance record. 28 pupils did not have a perfect attendance record. So, let's represent uh, one pip of the grade 5 pupils this rectangle. Then, let's divide this one to 5 because our uh, denominator is 5. Then, let's shade one part of it to represent one pip. Then, we have 28 pupils. So, as you can see in our illustration, so we have four remaining rectangles not to be shaded. So, this would be the 28 pupils. So, this would be a 28 pupils did not have a perfect attendance record. So, we can count this one. One, two, three, four. This would be four rectangles. So, we can say that we can divide 28 by 4. So, the answer will be 7. So, we can say each of the green rectangle represents 7 pupils. Therefore, we can say 1 pip has a value of 7. Then, we can add 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, therefore, we have 35 number of pupils. Okay. Let's use the number sentence to check our answer. So, N is equal to 28 divided by the quantity of 1 minus 1 pip. First, we're going to perform the operation inside the parentheses. So, Let's perform the operation inside the parentheses. First, you're going to change the whole number 1 to its fractional form. The fractional form of whole number 1 is 5 over 1 to make the uh, two sets of fractions similar. Then, uh, perform the operation inside the parentheses. 5 minus 1, the answer is 4. Then, copy the uh, denominator 5 since they are similar. And then, let's proceed to divide 28 by 4 feet. So, let's change 28 to its fractional form. And then, let's proceed to keep, change, and flip. So, let's skip 28 over 1. Multiply or change the division symbol to multiplication. Then, flip 4 over 5 to 5 over 4. And then, multiply. 28 times 5, the answer is 140. Then, 1 times 4, the answer is 4. Then, simplify your answer. The answer will be 35 children. So, very good, grade 5 learners. Our answer is correct. Now, grade 5 learners, it's your turn. You have 30 seconds to get... Uh, to answer this one. So, get your notebook and pen and try to answer the following question. You're going to type in your answer in the comment section below. So, choose the letter of the correct answer. For number one, how many uh, groups of one-third are in 16? How many groups of one-third are in 16? The choices are A, 48, B, 49, C, 50. You have 30 seconds. Your timer starts now.
Now, the correct answer is 48. Very good, grade 5 learners. You got the correct answer. And for question number 2, how many groups of 2 third are in 12? How many groups of 2 third are in 12? The choices are A, 18, B, 19, and C, 20. You have 30 seconds. Your timer starts now. Okay, time is up. The correct answer will be very good grade 5 learners. It is letter A, 18. <laughs> Next, for number 3, find the quotient of 4 third divided by 2 ninths. The choices are A, 5, B, 6, C, 7. You have 30 seconds. Your timer starts now. If your answer is letter B, 6, you got the correct answer, grade 5 learners. Very good. Now, for number 4. The chicken in Edwin's farm consume 3-4 kg of feeds per day. How many days will 6 kg of feeds last? The choices are A, 6 days, B, 7 days, C, 8 days. You have 30 seconds. Your timer starts now. Time is up. Now, the correct answer is letter A. Very good, great five years. Now, let's proceed to number five. Ethan can type three pages every one eight hour. If the meeting started two hours later than the scheduled time, how many pages can he type before the meetings start? The choices are... A, 46 pages, B, 47 pages, C, 48 pages. You have 30 seconds. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer for this problem is letter C. Very good, great time Now, to keep in mind, in dividing fraction, we must follow some step. Step number one, we're going to copy the dividend or you just skip. Then, step number two, 
change the division sign into multiplication sign. Or you're going to change. And then step number three, uh, get the reciprocal of the divisor. Or flip. Then step number four, use cancellation method if possible. Or you just cancel. And then step number five, uh, multiply the numerator then the denominator or you just multiply and then lastly step number six uh, express your answer in lowest term if necessary or simplify now for our question and answer portion you have 15 seconds to type in your question in the comment box our teacher moderator will gather all your question and you will try to answer it your 15 seconds timer starts now okay time's up now let's proceed to our question number one teacher it is possible to divide a mixed fraction to a whole number? Yes, it is, grade 5 learners. We must follow the steps in dividing a fraction or you just change first the mixed fraction to its improper fraction or and the whole number and then follow the steps in dividing a fraction. And now for our home learning task, grade 5 learners, answer assessment on page 40 of your self-learning module. And that's all for today, grade 5 learners. Thank you and God bless.